guys we just uh successfully sold an nft some while back guys so you can see here on my screen here binance sent us a notification that uh nft has been successfully sold he says uh this is a collectible we collected for uh, mike tyson so it's a bronze nft uh the good thing here is that we were able to flip this nft within minutes so it didn't take up to an hour before we flipped this nft and we made uh 2x on the sale which about two to three X on the sale, which was a very cool, cool, cool team. So uh, these are some of the transactions we've carried so far on the Binance platform as regards NFTs. You can see NFT listing, NFT purchase, you buy NFTs and you say NFTs. Now, the cool thing about these NFTs is the fact that these NFTs are usually very cool. And uh, as of recording, there are lots of uh, artists and lots of legends, just like, uh, let's say, Muhammad Ali, we have uh, Mike Tyson and there are also other celebrities that are out there that are currently pushing out their own NFTs. So we've uh, uh, bought some, acquired a number of few and we've also listed and uh, sometimes these NFTs, if they are not purchased, they also get delisted so that you can also release them. Now, this one, uh, this was one of the latest one we listed. When we listed it on the Binance platform, Binance sent us a mail that, okay, there was no buyer uh buyer did not there was no buy uh so it says uh, uh we had the nft got uh, delisted so you can always release it the good thing about binance nft is that releasing of nfts they are free but however when it comes to uh you uh after making sales whether after making sales on this nft uh you can uh there are transaction fees you need to pay and these transaction fees are usually very minimal now let's take a quick look at what the transaction fees entail now the binance nft in general may charge transaction fees when you trade deposit withdraw and create nfts on the platform now the transaction fees are calculated based on various factors including market conditions and network status so these are some things you want to know there are the deposit fees so you can set desired gas fees when depositing nfts to binance however please note that gas prices would fluctuate depending on several factors for more details we want to check out how the gas fees article there's an article here for gas fees then also the platform fees in general you also want to be aware of the platform fees that are uh, available you so you want to be aware of that then the withdrawal fees like uh, a platform service fee will be incurred like binance nft nft usually charges about one percent for uh fee for uh platform fees then when it comes to the withdrawal fees to transfer an nft to other marketplaces you need to withdraw your nft asset from the binance nft marketplace to your wallet first so please know that you need to connect your wallet to the binance uh, account so if you're using a metamask you can connect your metamask wallet to a binance account nft marketplace so you can easily transfer your uh, assets now withdrawals to crypto addresses outside the binance nft typically incur a transaction fee or network fee and this fee is not paid to binance but to miners or validators that help make the uh, uh transactions on the blockchain network are uh, very secure and uh uh, uh working so uh the withdrawal fees are dynamic and automatically adjusted now there are no fees when it comes to listing uh but also you want to know that some uh projects or some nfts could have royalty fees so whenever you make sales the royalties will always be paid to the creator of those nfts so you want to know that some sellers or some uh creators could uh put uh want one to about uh, 10 percent for royalty fees uh those are some things you want to know then also there's a minting fees which uh, there's an nft meeting fee and a gas fee when you create your own nft on binance platform each nft will have a minting fee of about 0.000 bmb so these are some of the basic concepts you want to know about now we'll go, i'm going to look into i'm going to talk about two basic areas about the binance nft platform where you can get access to the binance nft platform using your mobile devices and also you also get opportunity also look into some basic reasons why you should consider giving nfts to uh users as a gift now nfts in general they mean non-fungible tokens which mean they are very unique in particular so uh giving out a unique set of uh uh, something that is unique, meaning the, uh, most most NFT, there are NFTs that are just uh, as you very so very unique that they are just one piece. 
you only get to see them just like the Mona Lisa uh, uh, sculpture or the Mona Lisa painting. You can see it's very unique. Uh, people do go over to the museum to go visit it, to go see it on a regular basis. So this is how uh, NFTs feels like. And you know the NFT fee space is currently still growing. We have the board API Corp, one of the leading NFTs in the space, where uh, uh, it's currently doing well. So these are some of the reasons why you, if you want to give somebody an NFT, you can decide to give your loved one an NFT. And in the long term, these NFTs could become uh, generational wealth or they could become uh, a life changing opportunity for those uh, uh, people you've given those NFTs to. So this is one key concept. Now, we want the the Binance Twitter 100k uh, followers NFT. So this is one NFT we got from Binance, which we uh, got not too long ago. Binance has distributed it to uh, lucky users, so we are able to be among the lucky people that got this NFT. Now, uh, listing the NFT, all you need to do is just to click on the list NFT. When you click on the list NFT, you can be uh, able to uh, adjust it. You can also see where it says deposit, withdraw, and then my wallet now you can withdraw directly to your metamask wallet where you can connect it to uh whichever wallet maybe your ad wallet you want to put your uh your uh, nft there and gift it out to uh, a, 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 the user or the person you want to gift it out to now these are some techniques you want to gift it out to uh these are the terms and conditions so you want to click on accept accept then uh, you want to list it for whichever price so i'm just going to list this one for whichever price you can see the mint 2020 uh, so you can click on list you can also have access to withdraw this nft to whichever wallet then you can check out the description for your individual uh, nfts to see if they have royalties attached to it now for some royalties they do uh, they are royalties available for about one to ten percent now one cool feature to make a killing with Binance NFT marketplace as a bonus tip is for you to see the current floor price and to see what users are currently uh, bidding for NFTs. This will help you or give you an insight to understand how to price your own or uh, the price you need to put for uh, your own NFT. So that is one cool feature you need to do. So all you need to do is just to click on uh, set price or IS bidder. You click on uh, this if you need a fixed price fixed prices are usually very cool why isb are usually very way way more cooler as users could get the opportunity to uh, battle for uh, your price if it's very for your nft if it's very unique now i'm going to show you uh users now there's an article that talks about why you should consider giving nfts a gift now they put together some basic reasons which you can consider now you say if you have a friend, family, or loved one, giving a gift uh, could be fun to their birthday, uh, special occasions, or anything. Now one thing is about the NFT uh, gifting is the fact that it is very new. So uh, anybody you give out this gift to will always remember that uh, you are the one that accepted or you were the initiator or the orchestrator of that. Uh, uh, concept of uh, NFT. So it's just like a uh, Bitcoin. We always remember that Satoshi Nakamoto is the founder of uh, BTC, uh, he's the father, founder of the blockchain space, or is the brain box behind the blockchain space. So uh, when it comes to NFT, giving somebody an NFT, uh, they will always remember you, or it is a very unique thing, as they will always remember that you are the, uh, uh, the first person that he introduced them into the NFT space. Now you say, do NFTs make good gifts? You want to know that yes, they really do make good gifts, very awesome gifts. Now you can see uh, users or uh, most uh, uh, people who are fans or their idols, they they love some certain celeb celebrities. Maybe your uh, kids, they are, are so so in love with a particular celebrity. So you want to give them that gift. Let's say for the Mike Tyson. We have a, 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 a friends, loved ones that are very much inclined to NFTs. Uh, so these are particular idols. So you want to just, okay, this is an official NFT from uh, Mike Tyson. You want to give it out to them. Now there are some the, of these NFTs that are very rare. They have the, uh, they have the signature, they have the, uh, they have the, uh, the uh, direct, the, the, the direct uh, Tom printing, the direct uh, signature, uh, 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 the direct, they have the direct uh, 
and writing from the uh, creators themselves. So this is one key feature you want to know. So imagine having an NFT being signed by uh, that has been signed by Mike Tyson. So this is something uh, it's very unique and uh, they will always cherish it. Now, some users could also decide to print these NFTs out, although it is always unique to you because when it comes to verifying it on the blockchain, you know that uh, that NFT belongs to a particular user. Now, the transaction fees, so what you need to know about before diving it, uh, try tra transaction fees, then you also you need to set up your crypto wallet. So it goes without saying the NFT enthusiast or your crypto loving friend might be de delighted to receive an NFT. So in this case, buying an NFT gift for your loved ones could be a great way to sh introduce them to the world. So to receive your NFT, your recipient will need a crypto wallet. So it is a good idea to have them set up one. Now you can send up send a, an NFT to a, a Binance user, a fellow Binance user. Uh, you can create an NFT for them, or you can create an iDrive wallet. Uh, you can create a, a crypto iDrive wallet and uh, send the NFT there where they can store their NFT uh, for as long as till when they, they want to use it. So that's uh, how most users are currently saving up their uh, bought a BH club nft which is one of the most expensive uh, nfts in the crypto space as of recording so then also not all nfts are equal that is something you want to know so there's no point in giving a Trey songs uh a mystery box nft to someone who doesn't know even about his music so uh you want to know that there are different types of nfts so you want to be aware that you're giving out the right nft to the right user so uh, for those people that are fans of Mike Tyson, they will always cherish if they get an NFT from Mike Tyson. Now, how to give an NFT? You create an account, find the NFT you want to purchase, double check on the transaction details are correct, complete your purchase, transfer the NFT to your giftee. You need your wallet address, or you also uh, either be a long string of letters and numbers or a QR code and you verify the receipt on the blockchain to confirm the NFT as landed in the crypto wallet. And that is how you can do uh, that transaction. Now, thoughtful ways you can also present it. You can gift it with the hardware wallet, and also print the NFT and frame it, which is also a good idea. Uh, for uh, some NFTs are usually signed by uh, Max. Like we have the legendary uh, uh, NFT from Mike Texan, which is uh, as is a signature on, on uh, which is signed by him. Uh, then also we have a conclusion we have a, if you are struggling with finding a unique present uh, nfts could make a great gift for users so it's very unique and it's still in the uh, green office still up in the very in the green office now i'm going to show you guys how to sell we're talking about how to sell and how to buy i'm going to show you guys how to sell how to list how to go about it so on your NFT dashboard, all you need to do is to set the NFT. So I'm going to set this one for whichever price. Let's see. Uh, you can see the fee here that is going to be charged is about 0 0.02 BNB. So if 0 0.02 BNB is currently going to be charged for this particular uh, NFT, you want to make sure that you're you're using a good, you're putting up a good price for this. So a BNB is currently worth about $400. So that was about $40 or, or I think uh, divided by five, that was about $50 for transactions. So you want to let's say you want to set this for uh, let's say 10 BNB. You want to set this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, you want to list it. So let's say you want to list it for uh, this. You can see the contract address for this particular NFT. So I'm going to set it at 10. I'm going to set it at 10 10 BNB, guys. To set it at a fixed price, you can also set it at IS beta. Or whichever one is uh, which one ever one is comfortable for you so minimum b it might be uh 5 bmb then auction bid uh there's no auction bid you could decide to put an auction bid or so this will this way users can easily bid and uh, uh let you know the prices that they want to uh buy your nft now the fee is one percent of the total sale will be paid to Binance on the platform fee. An additional one percent will be paid to the original creator so as beneficiary as a royalty payment. So this is one cool way. Now for markup, markup is just the price differences between the first buyer and the second buyer, or the first bidder and the second bidder. Now also starts immediately list immediately after review. Custom list time. Now uh, the network is on the Binance Smart Chain. Expiration dates, expiration date, you can extend the expiration date to whichever date. Now, whenever users 
make uh show uh show interest in your project the they are nfts so i'm going to put it for let's say we want to leave it uh okay the maximum will be about seven days so we want to put it at that we want to put it at that uh seven days so that's it so we just set it at that it's going to uh, so no less than 12 hours no more than seven days so the nft is going to be like that bps so all we need to do is to submit once you submit you successfully listed your nft this is how easy it is the fee but that's not going to charge you anything you see it's going to be worth about one thousand six hundred and twelve dollars that's about five bmb as of recording you can click on confirm uh i think it's, it's still a good buy so you guys can uh you can go over to the binance platform search up with this price and you'll be able to see our nft being listed make sure you check the one listed by our keys to support us guys this nft is really really cool uh years from now this should be worth more than anything so uh worth more than anything there is currently limited guys it's currently limited so there's an error encountered in google capture so i'm going to click on confirm again so i think we're having some network issues that's why uh the error is currently being encountered there so guys i'm still going to show you guys how to navigate through the uh mobile mobile mini app uh through the uh, binance app so there are ways you can navigate through the mobile app to also do but quick tip okay there's an error yes yeah, still error still same error so i'm just going to cancel this up I'm going to cancel this up and just uh, going to you sh show you guys directly on my phone screen. So how to go about this directly. So to get started on the uh, Binance uh, NFT mini app, uh, you need to log into your Binance app directly. So once you've downloaded it on Play Store, it's available on iOS devices as well as Play Store. You now, you all you need to do is to go over to the more option. When you click on the more option, it's going to take you directly to the uh, list of functions available on the Binance platform. Here you can navigate and go over to the Binance NFT, uh, uh, select the Binance NFT. So you find it under the trade menu, under the trade menu here. Yeah. All you need to do, click on it. When you click on it, it's going to take you directly to the mini app. Now, the mini app, you get access to home page, marketplace, uh, mystery boxes, as well as uh, your user accounts where you can see your uh, NFTs and your basic, uh, or you can navigate or you can list your NFTs directly there. So, uh, this is how it, uh, how, it works, basic, how it works basically. So, on the home page, you get access to see what is currently happening, trends, and more. Then, uh, one key feature you need to know is that there are, uh, on the Binance NFT, there are different types of NFTs on the uh, Binance NFT. So, there are many NFTs in the market, and the best way to find the right NFT uh, for your loved one is to know what they like in particular. So, if there are uh, uh, they love animations or they love uh, certain characters you want to know if they are uh, fans of celebrities you want to know about them now some cool one or tips of finding on uh, binance uh, marketplace is to find an nft gift that matches the interest of your loved one so we have a premium art sports entertainment so for sports people could be uh, inclined to find uh, to like nft such as the ones related to uh, footballers let's say you have a uh, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, those kind of NFTs, or for uh, fan token NFTs for FC Porto, Real Madrid, Barcelona, AC Milan. You want to look out for those kind of NFTs. Then you could also want to also know about collectibles, exports, NFT for music and for good for a charity basis to so those are kind of nfts are there so this should give them a sense of belonging so these are some uh, key features you need to know now all you need to do this is the home page you can navigate you can see what's currently happening we have jigsaw shop for nisi ogulu uh, currently upcoming their upcoming uh, uh upcoming events yeah now these are recommended collections you can click on the marketplace uh the marketplace will give you an overview of uh of what is currently uh, been listed yes, yeah? so you can see the prices and you can also make purchases if you want to make purchases But well, yeah, you also see the top collections and how they well they are currently doing so you can see the top collections top sales. So we have Stephanie NFT sneakers that are currently doing well. top creators Eagleverse mother the clay device and more so you can see prices of NFT now Let's say you want to buy any NFT here yeah? All you need to do click on the particular one you want to buy make sure you have the funds in your account and you're good to go so let's say for these astronauts, let's say your, your son wants to become an astronaut or your lo uh, loved one wants to become an astronaut. And you say, oh, you've gotten this NFT for uh, them to motivate them. And you say, uh, keep this with you. When you grow up, this NFT will grow up with you. Or uh, this NFT is a good uh, NFT. It's going to motivate them to uh, become uh, the, uh, the person they want to become in the future. So this is an astronaut-based NFT and it's unique to them. So these are some key features you want to know. So it's going to load up. Let's see uh, basic details about this NFT. So while it's loading up, we're going to wait a little bit. 
So here you can decide to make offer. So astronaut monkey nineteen forty nine is currently two two BUSD. You can make your offer. You want to uh, this is the details network contract owner. Uh, the last uh, was purchased at one BUSD, and you can see the prices. Uh, monkey from a distant uh, metaverse. I'm just going to go back and directly. So these are easy things. You can make your offer, and uh, that is how it works. Now there are also mystery bosses. So uh, for the mystery bosses, you want to click on the mystery boss. It's going to show you the mystery boss. Uh, this is the mystery boss collections where you can see lots of collections also. Uh, this is where you can also see uh, the Mike Tassin, uh, uh mystery boss collection. We have Glory, we have uh, lots of them. So you want to be on the lookout for these uh, mystery bosses and you uh, you can easily buy any of the ones you want to buy. Uh, then user, you want to go to your user profile. So here you can see it. Uh, these are uh, mystery box, uh, our user uh, profile. So here you can see your NFTs. If I click on the mystery box section, if I click on the mystery box section, you will see our mystery boxes, NFT, we have the uh, collections for Mike Tyson and more. So all you need to do is just click on the one you want to list and that is how it works. Then also, you can also click on the deposit for, for feature uh, function here. If you want to deposit your NFT from uh, your wallet, let's say you have your NFT in your Metaverse wallet, uh, your Metamask wallet. So you can see we have about three uh, mystery box uh, NFTs for Mike Tyson. So this is how easy it is. So I, I think I'm just going to click one and list one of these uh, so you can see how it works. So yeah, I just clicked on it. It said uh, more details or you should click on the list. So I'm going to list it directly. So you can give this out as a gift to any of your loved ones and they will eventually cherish it. The goal here is just to know what they, what is of interest to them. So this is currently one of the most unique ways to uh, surprise a loved one. So you can see Mike Tyson is all looking cool, all looking fun and more. So you want to select available. I'm selecting just one. So you can ID. So I'm going to put these at, let's say, two, uh, let's, let's just say I'm putting it at 10 BNB. For this, uh, I'm putting a 10 BNB. Then I'm going to increase this uh, duration. What's the what's the uh, what's the latest time possible? Okay, so this is it. I'm going to click on confirm and submit. So you want to know uh, not more than seven days. Listing is free, and you can see that our NFT has been successfully listed for that amount. Successfully listed. So I'm going to look at it. It's going to show us the uh, the notification that it has been successfully listed. So this is how easy it is to do it. So guys, you can see it now. This is our, our main uh, NFT. We just listed it. It's going to end in six days. So if within the six days we do not sell, it's going to be delisted. So you can see the details. You can see how much we purchased, how much we sold. You can see the one we sold and the one we purchased initially. So the, this is it. So uh, guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. We do hope you understand this tutorial. Uh, you can go over here and purchase this NFT for your loved one just to, just to support them, just to uh, show them you care. Then you can also send this to your wallet as uh, easy as it is. You can deposit, use the withdraw function, and you will be uh, able. So I'll be dropping all the links in the description box below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. One love. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Shabai keys, guys. Peace out.